Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing a haul video. I have some really cool stuff that I want to share with you guys today and I am excited. I hope you are too. So if that sounds like fun, then stick around because I am about to get started. But before I do, I just want to say if you've never seen my face before, hey, my name is Jen and I purchase a try, skincare, makeup, clothing, that kind of thing. So if something doesn't work out, I'm going to let you know about it and hopefully save you a couple bucks. So if you haven't already, think about hitting that subscribe button, sticking around, hit the like button. I don't know, if you feel like it, you can consider it your good deed for the day. And with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into today's video. Okay, so I'm excited. Um, first, I'm gonna give you a little backstory on all this stuff so we can, you know, get things rocking and rolling and, and know what's what for what. Let me start by saying there's a fan on. I'm sure you can hear the sound. <laughs> there's a fan on because it's hot in here. I need the fan on, so I, I, I apologize if the fan bothers you. I can't turn it off. I, I will melt before your very eyes. It will not be pretty, it will not be fun. Second thing I wanted to mention is that I'm not really wearing any makeup today because I finally was able to go ahead and get my eyebrows waxed. I had a long awaited moment, you know, finally getting that done. I've been basically taking care of it at home like a lot of us have, you know, with everything. And I also got a uh, manic, uh, well, just a pedicure, but um, so glad to finally do that. But my skin is kind of reacting a little bit and it does it every now and again. I don't get waxed very often. I usually leave my eyebrows alone and you know, I'll just pluck them or whatever. But when I do, my skin you know, gets a little tripped out, gets a little bumpy and then it goes away and it's kind of doing that right now. So I don't want to exacerbate things by putting makeup on, which is why I'm clean face today as I often am on this channel. It's not the first time, but it is a makeup channel and I wouldn't want anyone to be confused as to why I'm not wearing makeup on said makeup channel. So I just thought I'd clarify that, but I am really glad that I got my eyebrows done because they needed it desperately. There's a certain point where you just need the professional to handle it as opposed to trying to take care of it at home. So I'm glad that I was able to do that. I'm also glad that I was out by my old stomping grounds the other day, just kind of getting some things done. I found myself over in that area where I lived for many years and some of my favorite stores are there and there were some sales going on. Also, aside from that, there was Friends Beauty that has reopened and I stopped in there. I drove by because I was mostly just curious and they had been doing curbside since all this stuff has been going on and you guys know if you've been here any amount of time, you know I don't really enjoy the online shopping experience. I'm getting used to it, you know, over time, but I prefer to go in-house and shop to see things in person. That's just how I am. It's one of my many, many quirks, but they're open for regular shopping. Super excited. I hopped in there and one of the main reasons why I really enjoy going there is because I get a discount, I get my pro discount, and they carry Chantecati along with some other really nice high-end makeup products that I get a discount on. That's exciting for me. I also went ahead and stopped by, well, I don't normally shop at Bloomingdale's, but they were having a sale, so I stopped by there and I grabbed a couple things, not a whole lot, the place is really pricey, so. I got a couple things. It's going to be fun. We're going to talk about that in a second. And I went and grabbed a couple things from Sephora because they were having a sale. We got a nice little haul here to go ahead and, you know, talk about and some fun things to show you guys. So I'm excited. I'm going to go ahead and jump right into it because, oh, not only did I have my discount over at Friends Beauty, they also had some Chantecai stuff that was discounted on top of my discount. So we're going to start with Friends Beauty today. Hi, how's it going? I'm extra excited that they have the Chantecai there. Um, but that's not all I got. I also went ahead and grabbed some things because remember I recently got my hair done and I had a keratin treatment done and one of the things that my friend Genevieve had said to me was she likes you know, this particular brand, what is it, Biolage? Am I saying that right? I might be saying that wrong. I probably am. But anyway, I've used this quite a bit in the past and I, I really enjoy this brand. And this is their Smooth Proof Conditioner and Shampoo and it works for my wonderful frizzy hair. So the thing that she had said to me is just switch up between this and the um, the other one I'm using right now, which is, um, why am I forgetting? Briogeo. So she had said to me switch up between this and the Briogeo because I guess there's, maybe the Briogeo has a lot of proteins in it and maybe won't work as well with my keratin treatment. I, I'm not sure, but I always appreciate her advice. I know she knows what she's talking about. So I went ahead and picked that up because I thought, why not? 
I also got some callus glue because this is my favorite lash glue. I do like the Kiss liner because it's it makes it super simple to you know pop on a lash if you're in a hurry, but this is like my tried and true. I know that I will continue to repurchase this as time goes by because this is just a really great lash glue. It's a really good product. I also got, let me jump to the Chantecaille stuff I got really quick. I got two little lippies from Chantecaille and this is with their uh, spring line. So, oh, so cute. It's like a um, orangey kind of shade. I'll, I'll pop it up in the screen here so you guys can see what the shades are like. It's not really, we don't need to be swatching stuff all that. I keep here all day long and you've got things to do. So I don't want to do that, but I'll leave the shade up there so you guys can see it. This is also like a really pretty nude shade that I got. This was 40% off. So chance of in my life and uh, another thing that I got that I've been wanting for a really long time is they had the little Viseart palettes there this one's adorable I saw it on Sephora's website I've seen it for a while I've always thought it was really pretty this color story just speaks to me it's just it's right up my alley for shades that I really like to use and I'm excited to have this because I don't have any other Viseart palettes this is my very first one so we'll be trying that out in a later video so yeah I don't know, pretty cool, but yeah, gonna get it, discount, because why not? Another thing that I got is, uh, uh, I'm kind of, <laughs> I don't know how this is going to work out, but I feel like I kind of got suckered into this. I wanted to check out some skincare, because they also have unique skincare there that I, you know, some things I know and some things I've never tried before, like this, the Organic Pharmacy. I was talking to the guy, really nice guy, we were just kind of hanging out and chatting. I, I can't remember his name, I, think, I don't even think he told me his name. It doesn't matter, that's here nor there. But this is an eye lifting gel and he was speaking so highly of this. It is not the first time I bought skincare from this place that I've been, you know, suckered into something that didn't really perform well or do much of anything for me, but he was so jazzed about this, I couldn't help but purchase at least the eye lifting thing because I thought, you know, why not give it a try? You know, just out of plain curiosity. This actually was on sale, so it wasn't super expensive, but because he was just so passionate about it and was so like, this is gonna work for you, it's gonna be great, and it's got the little roller deal on it, it's supposed to depuff and, and lift the eye and all that stuff. I don't know, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna tell you guys about it one way or the other, but I couldn't help but be curious, so I, I obviously I got it, I, I bought it, so. And there goes my thing again. My phone is going kind of crazy today. There's a lot of stuff going on. Things are happening in the midst of this little haul moment. So I'm glad I got that. And we're just going to forge on. We're just going to continue to hang out and, and do our thing. They also gave me a really cool little gift baggie here with some things to try. You know, Dermalogica, which I actually really like. And, you know, just little things like that. It's kind of a nice little touch. It's a fun store. And I do enjoy going there because... They've got a lot of really cool things. Aside from Chantecai, they've got Kevin Aquan. They've got a lot of high-end brands and uh, brushes, and they've got Ben Nye. They, they, just a lot of really cool things. So I, I really do like going there, and I'm glad that they're open for business, like regular shopping again, because I've missed it. You know, I miss the experience of it. So I'm glad that I went in. I'm glad I got the stuff. And we're going to try that Vizzy Art palette in a later video. So <laughs> totally down for that. Next, we're going to hop into our little brown bag here. I don't know. I, I went by the mall because, again, everything was pretty much in the same vicinity. And I was just kind of like wandering around, not really with the intent to shop, you know, except for the things that I wanted to get from Sephora because, again, it was another sale situation, which is, you know, that always kind of brings me up like it does to for a lot of us, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> it's not just me. Anyway, so I went in there and I was looking around and they were having 40% off sale. And I thought, well, this is fantastic because they had a lot of really good, you know, workout clothing that... Uh, I enjoy so fun brands that don't normally go on sale were on sale so I kind of took advantage of it again I didn't get that much I got two things and, and that was pretty much it but this little top here that I'm going to show you guys from Spiritual Gangster I believe is the name of it yeah it is it's Spiritual Gangster Peace Love and Yoga I, I only just go normally and look at their stuff because it, it is kind of pricey for workout stuff but again sale so this is a cute little yoga top. Look how adorable that is. I don't know, I just like it. They have, it says positive vibes only on the back. They have a lot of um, cute little tops like this that have all these little positive sayings on them. Not just, not, wrong side. Not just this one. I don't know, I really like the material. I know it's, it's very well made. A little on the pricey side, but again, I got it on sale. 
This shirt is um, $48 before tax. For a t-shirt, that's kind of up there, in my humble opinion, but with the discount, what was it, 40%? It's, you know, seemed like more doable for me, so I ended up getting it, and uh, yeah, I got it. I'm excited to wear it, because I think it's going to be great, lightweight, very nice for, you know, working out and doing my yoga at home, or just kicking around in as the summer months, you know, come in and things start to heat up. I think that it'll be cute to have, like, maybe over a bathing suit top, and I'm, you know, poolside or whatever the heck I'm doing. Who knows? But it seemed like, for the price, why not? The next thing I got is something that I've had my eye on for a while, and they were also having, again, it was like a little sale moment, so... I ended up getting this and it is from Aloe. I saw this on their site and I I fell in love with it, but it was so pricey, I didn't want to get it. Uh, but you know, I was able to do so the other day at Bloomingdale's. This shirt here retails for $68, that's a lot. So do I really want to spend $68 on a shirt? No. Will I take it at 40% off? Yeah. <laughs> so I did and I have it and I love it. I got it in a large size because this is a crop and I don't always really want my stomach to show so I feel like I can pull that off without it doing the full midriff action and uh, be a lot more comfortable in it at a large size as opposed to medium which is normally what I purchase when it comes to tops and stuff like that so I'm looking forward to wearing that. The material is fantastic and from the um, yoga pants that I've gotten from them their quality is just just top notch as it should be considering you know what they're asking prices for their clothing i mean it's it's a lot but they are uh, i believe a sustainable brand they have like they have a really good value set for a brand they're a caring for the environment type of brand you know they're they're trying to do things that are you know just um earth friendly so i i, I just like what they stand for so you know a couple of items from their line it makes me smile it's 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 all fine and good i don't have a ton of stuff i'm probably going to stop where i'm at i enjoy it i'm glad to have it but it's not like i can load up on all their clothing because <laughs> i can't afford that it's just you know bottom line so let's go ahead and jump into our last little baggie that we have today and this is our sephora bag and i didn't buy any makeup this it, this wasn't a makeup situation they were having a, what was it, 25% off of Fresh products. So I went ahead and got some things from Fresh. I do really enjoy the skincare line. It's K-Beauty, and their products are very effective. They can be very pricey, but with, again, the discount, I wanted to go ahead and grab what I could. Some things I got are kind of like trial size or smaller size so that it was, you know, more affordable. So what I've got here is Fresh Vitamin Nectar, and it is a glow water. I'm curious about this. I don't know. I... I I have a thing for face mists, <laughs> a lot of them, and I love the one that I got from Drunk Elephant, the sake, it's the fermented sake face spray, it's fantastic, but I got this one, I got the little smaller one, I'm curious to try this glow water because, you know, it's, it's fresh, and I like their stuff. I don't want to miss it right now, I, I don't want to waste any product, but I will definitely get back to you guys on, you know, how I feel about it. Next thing I want to talk about that I've taken out of its box already is, what did I do with the box? Ah, it's right here. Look at this, so this is a kombucha facial treatment essence. It's a toner, and I love their black tea one. The rose one from Fresh, for some reason, makes my face break out. I don't know what the deal is with it, but it does not agree with my skin. And I hope that this one is like the black tea one, which works really well with my skin, because I'm curious about it. I hear good things about it, and I've been wanting to try it. This is kind of on the pricey side. I got the smaller version to give it a shot. I feel like there's more than enough product in here to let me know whether I like it or not. and. Uh, yeah, I'm totally down to give this a shot. 25% off, I'm just like, oh. I also got their sugar therapy. I've already burned through the last one that I purchased, and uh, yeah, this is a over and over again buy for me because I so enjoy this formula. This is phenomenal, and it just leaves my lips so soft and full and plump and fabulous, and I love this. It's worth it. 26 bucks, kind of costly. 25% off, I'm buying it. So I did. Another thing that I picked up is another Froeo Day Mask because I've really been enjoying the UFO deal. I think that it's super cool. Again, I don't, I, I'm not looking like I'm 20 and I don't expect to, but I think it's a decent facial device and I really like the mask. So I went ahead and picked this up. Plus again, I always put the extra aside in a little container so I can keep using it as a serum. So it all gets used. So I get the best bang for my buck. I get the most out of it and I don't know, I really like it. I've been enjoying it. 
Another thing I decided to get, because you know how you leave the little kiosk in, in uh, <laughs> Sephora, you're standing in there and you see all the little like trial size stuff and there are so many times that I've grabbed things. I know I'm not the only one out there, you know, that has gotten things in that little, you know, as you're waiting in line, you just it's the little last little grab deal. That's how they get you, I'm telling you. And they get me every freaking time because I went ahead and I got the Kate Somerville exfoliating cleanser. I actually, I haven't used this in a long time, but I really do enjoy this one. And it was just kind of like right there. And I thought, you know, uh, yeah, so there's this. So I'm totally excited to have that and, uh, you know, start using that cleanser again because I did really enjoy it. I just, I never repurchased for whatever reason. Well, no, not for whatever reason. I didn't repurchase it because there's so many things that are coming out cleanser-wise. I've been trying all these different things and, you know, I just haven't come back around to it. And I do enjoy it. It did leave a good impression on me, but there's so many other things I wanted to try that, you know, I just recently swung back around to this one because I do remember really liking it. And again, it's that last little walk to the cash register where you're kind of seeing all that fun stuff. So I happened to grab it kind of like on a whim and, uh, and that's it. It's my little haul that I got from all these different places that I stopped at because, you know, I really do enjoy that area that I used to live in for so many years. There's all these really great little shops and stuff around there. It's just, you know, a lot of places that have, you know, gone away because of everything that has transpired or, you know, just over time in general. So it, it's just a trip to go back there every now and again and kind of traipse through the neighborhood and see what's the what and get some really cool stuff for a really decent price. So I'm glad I got to share that with you guys and just kind of, you know, hang out, spend time with you. I will definitely let you know at a later date how it all worked out, skincare and all that jazz. So yeah, that's it for today's video. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for sticking around and watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope you all are safe. I hope you are healthy. I hope you are happy. And as always, I hope you all are having a beautiful day. Thanks. Bye. Hi. Okay. I feel like that's all right. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, yeah, fan, face, stuff, you and me. Let's get started. How oh, weird. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> Which is, um, why am I forgetting the name of it? Um, I got it. I, I bought it. So. And there goes my... I, I've been, um... Let me just make sure. I'm sure that's what it is. Nope. I have receipts with no prices on them. Mm -hmm. Let me get back to you guys on, you know, how I feel about it. I have a feeling I'm going to like it. Alright. I guess this is it again. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah.